When can you get alimony in the state of Texas and how much and for how long? Well, a lot of people ask me that question. My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney who's practiced family law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. I have good news for you if you're the one that does not want to pay alimony and bad news for you if you are the one who wants to receive alimony. Because you see, Texas was the last of the fifth states to even allow it and the judges don't like to give it. It's only given in in cases where there's no other way to for you to support yourself, it's a last resort, and it's generally for a very short, limited period. First of all, you have to qualify, and then it has to be based on how many years you were married, and or unless you were totally disabled and can't work. But the theory is that they want you to have a little transition period so that you can get some training and get a job and support yourself. So sometimes it's limited to just a year or two if they award it at all. You see, they'd rather divide the community property if there is any, maybe give you a little more than half the community property. But say if you sell the house, you get half the money from the house Rather than buying another house with that money, the judge expects you to find some place with low cost rent and buy food with that money and get yourself a job and start over again. So whatever property there is to divide, that may be all that you get without alimony. We don't call it alimony if you go in front of a judge. It's called spousal maintenance. And spousal maintenance, you have to prove your minimum basic needs, not the amount that you're used to living with, not your standard standard of living, but what you absolutely need for food, clothing, and shelter. And then the judge may slash that budget after you've proven it. So you have to be very persuasive in convincing the judge that that's what you really, really need. And there's very little chance of getting that reversed on appeal. It's totally up to the judge's discretion. And so generally, you're not going to get as much as what you ask for if you do get spousal maintenance at all. The other way to get it is contract alimony, and that's by agreement. If you reach an agreement, say a mediation, then you can agree to anything, and we can put whatever agree into the final decree of divorce. The judge signs it. It's enforceable as a contract, but the only way you can do that is by agreement. If you don't agree and you have to go present evidence to the judge and persuade the judge, it's not going to be contractual alimony. It's going to be spousal maintenance, and you have to follow the rules in the statute to prove that you qualify under the statute. So if your spouse is looking at you and saying, you make a lot more money than I do, and we've been married a long time, and I expect alimony because I raised your kids, I was a stay-at-home mom and raised your kids, you know, it, it may be that she still doesn't get anything because you've got enough community property to divide, or the judge thinks she has enough job skills that she can support herself. And it won't be in the same standard of living as what you had. But that's not the point. The point is just, can you survive on it? So I'm sorry about the bad news if you're the one who wanted to receive alimony. If you think that you might qualify, give me a call and we will see if we can help you get it.